Peace brothers and sisters, I'm Doran Myrie and welcome to my channel, Doran Cooks. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I'm so honored to be here and just uh, I get to share a little bit with you all the dishes that I've come to love as a kid growing up. Being from New York, uh, born and raised, you know, I've had the pleasure of working in some of the best rated restaurants here in the city. Something that I've learned is that, you know, every kitchen is different. All chefs are different, their techniques are different. Um, there really is no right or wrong way as long as you learn the techniques to how to cook things. Once you figure out the techniques, you realize that you have a lot of room to maneuver and uh, that makes it fun. Thank you again for joining me and uh, I look forward to sharing with you some tips that you can take into your home and uh, make life a little bit easier and even dazzle your friends and family with some of the things that you're able to prepare out of your kitchen. Thank you and let's begin. Today we're gonna make a basic pasta dough. Uh, so people make all types of different doughs. It can be made different ways, different flours, uh, different amount of eggs. It really depends on texture and preference. King Arthur brand all-purpose flour uh, for the purpose of it's a little more fluffy, a little lighter than your average all-purpose flour. Uh, that's just my preference though. So we're gonna use 200 grams of that, 100 grams of salmolina flour, two teaspoons of kosher salt, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, six large egg yolks, don't worry about the weight of that, and we're gonna keep just enough warm water to bring it all together. That's why I say don't worry about the weight of the egg yolks because this is really a skill. It's more of uh, learning the feel for the finished dough. All right, and now we'll also have just a side of bench flour for a little bit of dusting. All right, so first I'm gonna add in my all-purpose flour. I'm gonna add in my salmolina flour. Add in the salt. And I'm also going to add in the garlic powder and the onion powder. Now that's optional. It's not typical in um, your average uh, pasta dough, but you know when we come to season things, I like to season my uh, dough as well. So I'm just going to mix that together. You know, I'm gonna try that with the fork actually. Make sure all of that is well incorporated. And then next, we're going to put it onto the work surface. Now this is the traditional technique of how to make Italian pasta. So we're gonna make a little weld in the middle. And uh, you kinda wanna expand that, it's gonna be a ring. You wanna expand it wide enough so that you can fit the egg yolks in there uh, without actually breaking the ring. You're gonna pour your egg yolks directly into the center of it. That water that I told you to reserve uh, to the side, that's gonna be lukewarm water. Cold water in a pasta dough, it helps it seize up and you're more prone to uh, breaking the dough while you're kneading it. Warm water kind of makes it smooth, velvety, and elastic. Break that, so now once I have my eggs in there, you're gonna take a fork. And I'm just gonna gently guide a little bit of my flour into the egg yolks and whisk that in. And all the while reshaping my ring of flour to make sure that the egg yolks don't escape. Now notice the eggs are getting thick now. And uh, it's gonna get to a point where you can start working with it without the fork. Now at this point, you're gonna add the flour in. And you're just gonna kinda chop it, chop at it and kind of incorporate the egg yolks throughout the flour. Scrape underneath, make sure that the eggs are not sticking to the surface. And just kind of guide the eggs and flour together. And make sure that you're controlling the environment. All right. Now remember, this is the part where we want to add your water now. So I'm just going to take a little bit of water. Remember, it's a texture thing. You're just going to work with a little bit of water at a time. And then what I'm going to do is I'm folding the flour over the water, chopping it back up. Ch 
chopping them back up. Let me use just a little bit more water. And you're going to get this, you're going to mess this up again and again and again until you get it right. Uh, the, the trick is not to add too much water. You want to add just enough water where it's going to become moldable and it's not going to crack. Uh, you can use gloves for this if you want. Uh, I'm old fashioned. I like to use my hands. All right. Now at this point, we're going to take 10 minutes to knead this. Uh, you can knead in eight minutes, but no less than that. And you have to consistently be kneading. Now this is where a lot of pasta doughs fail because people fail to knead properly. They either don't knead properly or they don't knead properly or long enough. Um, you can't over knead pasta dough. Um, the tougher, the, more, the longer that you knead the pasta dough, the stronger that the pasta will be. So uh, what I do is I take my hand and I fold it into the middle, into itself. I press it down and then I turn. Fold, press, turn. Fold, press, turn. Fold, press, turn. You know, uh, my favorite, uh, my favorite pasta has always been uh, fettuccine. I love me some fettuccine Alfredo. Um, there will be a video where I'm uh, making, I'm rolling out the fettuccine, and you'll get to see that as well. Because you know, we, let's face it, we can buy the the box stuff. There's nothing wrong with the box pasta, but uh, one to make your own pasta, it tastes better for one, and it definitely uh, it's more cost effective over time. We're talking about a whole big bag of flour, even though pasta is not that expensive. Still, you can't beat when you're making the stuff fresh from the ground up. All right. Now remember, like I said, if you need a little bit more water, I dab my fingers in some water just to add a little bit of moisture to the dough. And we're just about done. We're at our 10 minute mark. Now, if you notice now, check that out. We have a nice smooth dough. That's 10 minutes worth of kneading. It's elastic and uh, the dough is firm, it presses back. Um, so now this dough is ready to be used in an hour. You can wrap it up and leave it out at a room temperature and um, yeah, you can start working with it or you can wrap it up and put it in the freezer, save it for another day. You can even dry this out after you roll your pasta out and then toast it in the oven. Give it an extra nuttier flavor before putting it in the, in the water and cooking it. Um, so yeah, that is pasta dough. After that, grab some cling film, label it, and you're ready to go. I don't want nobody to cry for me. Cry for me. Being here is really not alive to me. Live for me. I see the time slipping by for me. By for me. I feel the eye of society. society. I see the world got their eye on me. Eye on me. I see the snakes gonna lie on me. Lie on me. I see him pull a six nine on me. Nine on me. Testify on me. Uh. Try to get the rest of my homies. Uh. Trying to put me in the sky box. In the sky, homie. They say, why are you alive, homie? Not the working on the fire.